hi to YouTube. Hi YouTube. You may have seen my like 50 million crappy spy videos, including the one YouTube. Freaking awesome jump stab that I will never replicate. Hola YouTube, my favor, man. He's a better spy than I am. Yeah, you're making progress. Lots of people are better spies than I am. I actually do have a video up on YouTube of me playing spy. What's your YouTube channel? Sonic1602 I just sat there for like 30 seconds Oh, I heard it's game I gotta go with the best game that I'm in forever Batman Go with Nigma, go All I wanted to backstab him What sucks? Heavy's too slow Bye, I must go on a journey. I will look at this on YouTube and remember how famous I am going to turn. Damn it, Mr. Ah. Medic. Why did you have to turn at the last second? I bumped into you. Quickly, remove their things. I removed their NG. Remove the sentry gun! In the final column. Against his will. <laughs> that sounds evil. Mm. Well, you are the spy. I need, I the spy kind of evil. Yeah, plays evil an enough. evil role. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I, I want to be more evil. I'm just not evil enough. There's just something about yeah, me being like, evil. I will eat your ribs. I mean, it's like, 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 to, uh, no, no, smash them and the rest of your team. Wow. I, I didn't think I'd be able to do that. Thank you, Sophie Cabra. Get out of here. That's a nice team you had there. Shame if something were to happen to it. Uber the spy. With the I've seen medics, actually medics pretty, have Ubered me. It has worked. Oh yeah, I've been Ubered by a medic Cursing before. and Ubering an enforcer spy kills the entire enemy team. But I, a medic crits Ubered well. me and then I backstabbed him. I love doing that. Would he get I don't think, can you himself? be crits by an enemy medic? Is that even possible? Yep. Did he get an assist it against never happened to me. Yeah, he critched me, and then I backstabbed him, and his body went flying past the entire enemy team before uh, it disappeared. Because, you know, the bodies disappear when you use the Eternal Ward. Ah. Uh. It was so worth it. Yes! I survived that. That was hysterical. Ring around the rosy on the rock, or whatever the thing it's is. Posey, which is a drug. You know how grim that song actually is. Yes, I know what the song it's is about. Grim. It's about the Holocaust. Knows what it is these days. No, no, it's not about the Holocaust. No. Yeah, ring around the rosy no, is about the, the Holocaust. Flag. Flag. Yeah, yeah, bubonic plague. Oh really? I was told I it was about the Holocaust. <laughs> Well, in both of them, a lot of Am people right? died. No. Oh shit. Do you Sorry, have to keep stealing it. people that I need for disguising? Yes. You there. And I shouldn't have spoken while I was invisible. Because that happened. That's the first rule. I am fair enough. I like the mic. Well, I'm like not the mic very smart, are you? I don't care if they die as long as I don't. What about what? What do you say about my spam? I like to mic mic spam while I spy. Ha! <laughs> oh. Aww. Aww. It gives me an excuse when I suck. <laughs> you do a lot of this. <laughs> I have one thing to say to all of you. Ponies. 
Large quantity of them. Pony's gonna pwn. In socks. Ponies in socks. Yes. Beautiful. I know. I hope he's elected. Note self request. Mr. Heavy, there is not a spy right here. You are imagining it. You know, actually, um, ha has, any has anyone here used the Pinkie Pie knife skin? There's a Pinkie Pie knife skin? <laughs> yeah, I made it myself. It's on NLP mod. You have to if link me to some of this stuff. Sentry gun fire crits. Sadly, no, it will not. Go, go, go. Ow, get out of here. I got everything. I'm oh, pretty sure it's impossible it for really sentry guns to crit. Sadly, they should, but they I don't. know they can, they can mini crit on things with Jirani. Yeah, but if a sentry gun could crit, crit then Jirani, they would be like the even more broken. Can. What if, hey guys, I have a great idea. How about we give the sentries the ability to randomly crit? Yeah, that's a great idea, but. Million! A dicky? They don't make these! Has anyone noticed that sometimes when you're set in fire and you dead ringer to get away from it, you will sometimes still be on fire and when you decloak, the fire damage will resume? I'm uh, dead ringer? Yeah, that can happen. Well, yeah, I don't know why that happens. Like, sometimes it will just, like, stop and resume later. You can still light on fire. Why yeah, I know. You can still light on fire. Yeah, but like sometimes I uh I'm lit on fire and then I use the dead ringer so that the fire damage makes it looks like I was killed. And then uh when uh, I decloak I start taking fire damage again. That's weird. Anyway, so were you recording that? Yes, I was recording that. Awesome. Just tell me if you put it on YouTube. I'm going to put it on YouTube. I've recorded the Wait, I've recorded the, anyway? the Pony Perhaps? Fortress Two servers several times, but none of them have ever ended up making it to YouTube either because I lost the footage or I was too lazy. I'm recording this too, so, by the how way. How did you record that anyway? Demo? Fraps? What? Fraps. Ah, fraps. Oh, is that a man melter? Nice. Would you consider selling man melter's good fun? I want the man melter. Oh, it's cool. I also want the phlogistonator and the third degree. I just want the man melter. I want to be able to put people out without having to use ammo for my flamethrower. I air blast too much. I want the phlogistonator because of the oomph thing. Yeah. It's the most fun you can- it's the weapon that's the most fun to be angry with. Yeah, I know. team. If one move. In a single, very angry motion. I was uh, playing on Warpath on these servers the other day, and I was healing up a, uh, a Phlogistonator Pyro, and I Ubered him, and then he used the uh, the oomph at the same time, and the entire team just like starts running. Enemy team, I mean. <laughs> Red. Well, damn, glow effect. I, I can only I can think first time I've ever really seen how the game looks on really high quality. The glow effect actually hurts my eyes a little bit. Nice. Sorry about that. D did I wreck your crypt? Damn it, I need those disguises. I shouldn't have been using the crits on offense anyway. Yeah, crits on offense is a bad idea. It's not a good idea. It's not necessarily a bad one. It's not as good an idea. Oh, nice. I just got a quick one, but by the time I realized what I had out, it was uh. Time to Uber. Yeah. I've actually found my favorite camp on this map. Decided to invest their newfound wealth into a beauty company. Most people thought they were just wasting their time. When they started making huge claims of the technology that would be featured in the game, 
most publishers refused to believe in them. But Bye. Sierra took a chance on them, and after a year-long delay, finally released the game in 1998. It blew with all its expectations, oh, and for oh, years afterwards, half of the game, game all others were compared to, and Valve was the studio that other developers wanted to be. So beautiful! They to discover the had a whole second life beyond Valve. The incredible success of Half-Life made several things apparent. First, Valve right. survived their gamble and prospered. Second, the world needed more Half-Life. Mike and I, given our background in operating knew that their next project would take some time. So during the interim, developer Gearbox Software was tasked with creating a Half-Life expansion pack, Opposing Force, which was successful enough to let them make a second expansion, Blue Ship. The games took the innovative approach of staying in the exact same time and setting as the first game, but telling the story from a different character's perspective. Opposing Force starred one of the Marines that Gordon Freeman had to fight through, and Blue Ship starred the hapless security guard Barney. Like Half-Life, they were both also titled after scientific principles. Opposing Force is Newton's third law, and Blue Ship is the Doppler effect. Seconds. But while they sold well enough, these were not to be the offshoot projects that people remembered. The art of mind, when players well done, the that was the first thing right there. there. Making games, was yeah, I, I haven't play done play that while on the spy in a while. By many others. And by a while, I mean like a week. Since many of their employees came from there, one of the things that was characteristic of, of Half-Life was that it was adopted pretty wholeheartedly by the modding community. Mike and I both have operating systems backgrounds, and when you develop operating systems, you're almost always thinking of the value that you create as being indirect, that you build tools that other people use to get value for consumers. With so much of half life's code up for revision, it wasn't long before a boatload of mods hit the internet. A few of which had risen to near equal status with the game they stemmed. Dave Defeat was a World War II shooter, and Team Fortress was a popular Quake mod ported over to Half Life at request. But Half Life's mod also happens to be the biggest, popular, and most successful mod in history Counter Strike. Team and round based multiplayer shooter. Counter-Strike was a nearly ground-up rewrite of the original game. The rigid structure of the rounds was a stark contrast to the mad, free-for-all orgy of madness common in multiplayer at the time, including Half-Lives. Its first beta was released in June of 1999, and barely a year later had garnered so many downloads that Valve brought the modding team on board. Valve would go on to acquire the rights to all three of these mods all of which would be given future iterations as commercial products. Oh. Developers should have been able to put out your fire because freedom. they could have their competition, but Valve had proven that an open relationship with the gaming community actually increased sales. After all, to play Day of Defeat or Counter-Strike, you first had to buy Half-Life. The more you reach out and the more you trust and the more you partner with your communities, the better the entertainment experiences are and the more profitable your business is going to be in the long run. Unlike most games, which sell a lot of units at release and then tail off, Half-Life kept on selling, as gamers kept getting more and more reasons to play. But despite all these other projects, the number one question on everyone's mind was what Valve itself was up to next. As the years passed by with no word whatsoever, rumors and anticipation started to mount. Not until E3 2003, five years after Half-Life was released, an eternity in the gaming world, did Valve finally show their 
and while outside developers and modders are great, Valve was to show once again that nobody makes Half-Life like they do. Tune in next time to see how... Yay. That one good run with Spy, and now I'm suddenly not doing as well. I'm doing great still. Well, yeah, I kind of have ups and downs with Spy. If I can get a good backstab at just the right moment, I can like completely destroy the enemy yeah, dude, team. Dude, dude. You're using the eternal reward. That's how it works. Either you're doing fantastic or you're bombing to hell. And yeah, I not, know. That, that would sound like swearing, but it's the only term that fits. Link, uh, no. quit asking yeah, for scramble. I know. No, don't scramble. Don't scramble. That'll no. restart the map. No scramble. No. Well, the map's over anyways, so. No, it's not. There you go. Yep. Server time left. I told them. My little pony.